Tara. <coughs> ah! Ah! I'm dying! <laughs> Crow, thank you for the fucking thing. Re Hold on. Oh, God. <sighs> you know what? We're gonna switch straight to the thing. So, today we're not having my bottle because... Bam! As you can see, uh, we have the new background. It's adorable. Look at this shit. It's so fucking cute. I, uh, my mouth is on fire right now. Hold on, we're going straight to the call. We'll do your redeems in a second. Give me a minute. I'm already dying. It's it's dead time. It really is a Kill me! <laughs> huh? It really is a <laughs> Hey, how do you redeem channel points without your model? <laughs> I, I, t I turned on... Uh, so yeah, I refunded the bounce one uh, from Orbally because okay. I don't have it on. But... Oh my god, that chicken sandwich I had while the stream was starting was really fucking spicy. My mouth is burning. <laughs> you fucking yeah. fool. Ah. What the screaming was about? Yeah? <laughs> fucking good. There you go. Dude, literally <laughs> that thing is still burning me. Let me hydrate. Terrible. Terrible. See, this is what you do. You plan oh, on your head. <laughs> oh. I didn't well, expect I had, it to I be had... so spicy. I mean... <laughs> <sighs> the, 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 the uh, illusion of, of how much spice you have. Exactly. But yes, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're here. Hello? It's the it's the podcast. I guess me not having feet is kind of beneficial in this case here. And I don't know it's, why it's, my it's model... Really short. Stepping on us. It's not uh, short. I think it's just that my feet are supposed to be you're behind the, like... You don't reach the ground. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're I'm gonna <laughs> fucking kill you. I think it's because my feet are supposed to be behind the wooden thing, but... <laughs> oh, no, 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 you're just short. Fuck you. Because, <laughs> I mean, you can't even see the chair, so therefore you're Shut. definitely short. Fuck up. <laughs> you're all banned. Everyone's banned. <laughs> I was originally yeah. a gremlin, so it's noted. I swear to fuck. What do you what do you think my model looks like? Like is like my whole upper body is just my fucking big ass head, big titties, and then I just have small feet? Like <laughs> no, 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 that's not how this works. Is... No, we, we do know that's how exactly it works. Exactly how right? it is. Yeah. My upper body's is... the same proportion as everybody else. <laughs> No, the, the head is the actual big part. It's, like, it's, the, it's the only part of your body that's actually not tit. And then the rest of it is just tit. Alright, so, you know what? I'm messaging way. Ayumi right now. Where are my feet? <laughs> Wait, what? Where, Where the I do? fuck are my feet? Not your Ayumi, my, the other <laughs> oh, Ayumi. Oh, God yeah. damn it. <laughs> Sick, I thought you were calling the... Yes, like, I'm reporting you, Sickness. <laughs> Alright, it's just... <laughs> Well, then again, we, we did have that conversation about your boss earlier, so, I mean, we could, you know, but I okay. I didn't say it like that. I just said, <laughs> like, by my hours. I don't, I don't know whether we should call you out or not. I, I, I'd kind of feel a bit bad if you actually got in trouble over calling you out for this, so... All we'll right. You'd probably just laugh at me. Okay, no, you definitely do. So, uh, sick <laughs> in <laughs> the... <laughs> 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 we were talking because uh, originally Sig wasn't actually going to be able to uh, to join us, unfortunately, due to uh, the snowstorm he had recently. Because he'd have to work more. And in fact, you, you have been working today, haven't you, Sig? Yeah, I've been working pretty much tens all week, and then uh, they were planning on making me work. Uh, I'd actually know like five or six hours, but yeah, I got the work done quick. Yeah. So I only did three hours a day. Oh, nice, nice, and. The <laughs> and one of the jokes was that he was going to have to get with his boss in order to, to arrive here, to, to be here on the show. And, of course, he's here on the show, so he must have got in with his boss, you know? It's it's two and two. I've met that in <laughs> my hours, and I'm saving that for a raise. Anyways. It's fuck's sake. What's in the... <laughs> so clip it, send to Ayumi. Let's go. Pack it in. How dare. <laughs> How weird idol culture can be in japan like these people some of the people actually believe that russia owes them something because you know they've been donating to them uh, sending the messages and some have even believed like there's there's some sort of relationship going on like there was one message which really is concerning that uh from a from somebody who basically was talking about how uh Russia's streams helped him street sleep, helped them sleep, and how they've had their ears cleaned helped out them by sleep, Russia. Helped them sleep. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Some deep and, sleep. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, That's it's a it's motherfucking sleep already. <laughs> good, good. It's it's really really uh, concerning. <laughs> this does happen. I mean, <laughs> gladly from what I've mostly seen, both from the Japanese fans and from the English fans, everyone's like. Who gives a fuck whether she's got a boyfriend, whether they live together, you know? Who gives a shit? Nothing wrong. Go live your life kind of thing. Um, but there, it's just this odd few that are just like, you know, crazy. My favorite thing out of this fucking whole situation. What is it? And this for fuck, quit playing fucking Shadow Mordor, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Damn it. My favorite take of this whole situation and how stupid this all is was the one I retweeted where it was some other VTuber. Basically, this is what they said. They said, Rushi has a partner. Every Hololive idol you support yeah, probably yeah. has a partner. They're real people. Streamers have lives outside of streams. Your Oshi is getting railed right now. I'm getting <laughs> red. <laughs> and this fucking bash the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> <And I> fucking, <laughs> this shit cracked me up so much. But yes, fucking every VTuber, every fucking one of these people, you like, it's like they forget. Like, people, like, fucking try to blank out of their mind. Like, these are fucking yeah, full grown yeah. adults in real life, like, putting on a character. Like, it's, you What's know, an it, adult? It, <laughs> like, <laughs> these people, like, you know, like, every, every VTuber you like, fucking. Uh, you know, like goes out, does real life shit, takes a shit, gets railed. Like yeah. <laughs> they're they're all fucking just normal people. Like <laughs> outside of the so thing, true. they just it's just they put on a fucking act thing. You know, so it's like I mean, <laughs> I don't, I really, I can't understand it at all. I mean, for some some people, I mean, I did see this take where I can. It's it's less bad than these deluded people that literally think that they've got some sort of relationship with this this woman. Parasocial you know? but, Andes, let's go. Yeah, parasocial. <laughs> parasocial. <laughs> These, yeah, no, uh, it's, uh, for them it was more like um, because she hadn't told them, uh, it was it was sort of like it's a bit weird that she, oh she should have told them in case these deluded people come along and think that they've got a chance or something like that. That also doesn't make and, any fucking yeah, sense because the whole point is doesn't. you're supposed to not talk about your real life. Like the whole thing is like they're putting on a character. Like uh, I can't believe it. Rushia isn't actually a fucking undead. What is the fuck is her character like a lich or some a, shit a necromancer. or necromancer in real life? I can't, can't believe it. Bring life to I death. can't. How could this yeah. happen? Dare, crow, not, dare. Yeah, crow. Crow's not yes. actually a fucking drone in real life. I can't believe this. No, I'm not a drone. That is very true. Not even You're in the definitely character. not a crow either, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... No, it's, it's it's weird. It's I, I don't know. I think it came came because um, Japan's got like a big idol culture, and it's one of these things. These idols, they're supposed to they're promoting a dream. It's it's literally it's just a dream. And that's all they promote up there. So you you can be a bit deluded. You can imagine that you you can go on imaginary dates and stuff. And that's why you get a lot of these uh, <laughs> sound clips where they're like, "Oh, oh, hi, oh, I've just woken up in bed and stuff like that." And it's like I'm next to you. Of course they're not. They're not. They're just doing it because it sells and because you know that's that's just part of the character. That kind of thing. You know? And the there is a big Ruchia, thing that use Google ever. <laughs> yeah, please do, please. <laughs> And you know, there's, there's a big know. thing like that with uh, with idol culture in Japan. Like, if you look into it, like it's a bit weird, and it's it, they are sell they are trying to sell like this this fantasy. And in a way, when they do bring their real life into it, it does break the fantasy a little bit. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, like you know, I remember. Like everyone, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Or like in some time, I think uh, Callie from All Alive was actually getting. <laughs> Issues because just she was just being too nice to Connor. I think is the guy's name. I don't oh, remember. Oh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, she was getting trouble just because she was being, I guess, too nice to him. And then they're just messaging her like, "What's going on? What Dare are you, doing? you <laughs> <Yeah>. nice, <Yep. laughs> dude? I'm telling you, people are fucking insane. Some people, it's just like that. <laughs> This is why, in a way, I feel like I, I thankfully probably will get this as much as other people because, like, from the get go of like looking into my streams and stuff, it's pretty obvious uh, that, like, yeah, I'm with Andis. So it's like, there's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't... <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't want to, like, put it in, like, any harsh way. But if I did put it in a harsh way, none of y'all have a fucking shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but like for real, like there are people who will fucking follow, like you know, the mute VTubers or uh, like you know, like you, yeah, you saw yeah, it with like yeah. all the in the VR chat side, like the or the fucking. Uh, anyone on like vr chat who has like a skimply model or something or vtubers in general is just like oh i i have i have a shot <laughs> like, <laughs> if yeah, you know if they're the first, not dating please. someone then i'm it so you're telling yeah. me there's a chance like <laughs> it's like bro like chill come on like <laughs> Uh, there's a lot. Of, there's there's been a bit of an issue as well recently where some anime YouTubers have been attacked by uh, anime IP owners, uh, namely Toei and uh, oh, a yeah. smaller company some called Some are Shopro. very strict with their yeah sense of like incredibly you know strict. yeah like uh, the copyright saw, stuff is like insane is for some of the things in Japan. Terrible. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. It, the the Fair Use Act, which which is brought in whenever it was. Is a brilliant thing it l allows people to basically add things allows people to cut little sections of, of video and film or, or books or whatever and put comment to it commentary to it or even mix it up and make it funny make a meme out of these sort of thing this is one of the reasons why we have so many memes so much content out there um, but unfortunately in Japan the Fair Use Act doesn't exist. There's no such thing as fair use. Yeah, they're so very behind to... in the times. Incredibly, incredibly. That you literally in order to literally use a photograph of a scene in a movie, you have to go to the company that owns it, write a letter, <laughs> and then they have to say, Yes, you can use this photograph. <laughs> what was his name? I think it's abroad in Japan. He wanted to use this one picture. And he went to the, to this guy that's saying send it a letter, of course, and what did they send? No, no, no! I don't want you to use my my picture of this movie. <laughs> and it's it's so weird. It's weird. It's like they don't understand that. Yeah, they still use fax machines as well. Like, what? <laughs> that that really tells their <laughs> dating <laughs> <Yeah>. right there. <laughs> I mean, uh, in, in America, they also still use. Fax I know it's just, <laughs> not as common nowadays. <laughs> but yeah, they, like they literally they don't understand how good. Uh, a marketing opportunity that sort of thing is like making a meme out of a, a small section of a film or you know uh, or even basically just criticizing a film like just having it up for a critic oh you want to watch this film this is what we know about it this is what we give the score for because of x y and z because it creates interest in it and they don't understand that that creation of interest even if it was negative even if it was positive no matter what it is it will increase your sales because people will be like huh that happened in that scene i want to see that or oh, i don't know about that i think that this scene is is wrong i'm going to watch it for myself and form my own opinion yeah this is sort of thing happens a lot yes it happens in the earth more than japan but it, japan just doesn't understand especially these older companies that it's a great use for marketing they should really embrace it i really hope they do yeah i mean like it, it it's like the old it's like the example of like with music where, like, you know, you hear music through someone yeah. in the stream or something. You're like, oh, what is that song? I want to go hear that or listen yeah. to that. Like, 90% of the music I listen to is music that I've found through fucking YouTube from someone using it. I'm just like, well, look at the description. There's this song. I'm going to go listen to that song. Like, <laughs> Eve, Eve. Like, this is a perfect example. Eve. Yeah. Uh, the, the, like, <laughs> you used to lay that as your beginning. I yep. never heard it before. <laughs> and I heard it for the first time and I thought, yeah, this is, this good. is pretty good. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I asked you for the name of it. And then, and, and then I, I oh, heard fine. Eve through a fucking other person using it. Like, <laughs> so it's like, yes, like, these things spread music around, like, it, or spread, like, you know, it, it gives attention, it grabs attention. And so, like, yeah, I... obviously, there, there are, of course, some, like, issues with things. For example, yeah. like, you know, someone uploads an entire song on youtube or something and, and it's not it. yeah and monetize it. Like, yeah. it yeah obviously don't do that like that yeah. that's kind of a negative sort of thing but like generally eve posts all of his own music on youtube so i just listen through his yeah, yeah, youtube but yeah like pe people there are issues yes but like just having it in the background of some like right yeah. now i'm playing whilst fucking delta whilst oh, i am talking yeah. right now there is delta rune music playing at this current moment people aren't gonna come back to fucking uh, one <laughs> one hour one one hour one minute and 45 seconds of our random ass 
back stream to listen to this song again. Like people aren't gonna fucking do that. <laughs> and on top of it, it's like like they, Wait, they seem to have this idea. That? No, people don't. I thought that was normal. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> See, they seem to have this, this idea as well that uh, these these music companies. I don't know where they oh, get it from. You don't do that. <laughs> 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 by, by streaming these things. Oh yeah, like, the the, the streamer talking over, talking it, over it, can, it makes it better. Yeah. yeah. They, they, <laughs> but no, they've got this idea that even even if whether you're doing it on stream, if you're doing it in the background of a YouTube video and there's noise all over it and you can barely hear the song. Or even if you can hear this song clearly, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's inseparable from the audio on the stream, no matter what the fuck you do, without ruining the song completely. <laughs> like, even me, like, I, I do my drumming, of course. I do it mostly on YouTube, because of course there's the, the DMCA and it's a bit of a grey area and stuff, because I would be gaming, even though I'm adding to it. Yeah. Um, but that, that sound piece from any of my videos, from any of the, the clips on YouTube and stuff, inseparable from the original music and i'm sorry i'm not that good a drummer that makes it better or even you know or or even plays it perfectly note by fucking note at the same volume or anything it's completely different so yeah like, why is it such a problem it, it really just goes to show like i i don't think like copyright laws are ever gonna get caught up <laughs> <laughs> yeah just just get get good with elon musk with his uh, space penis and then you're, you're yeah there you go <laughs> just fly out into space to inevitably probably get hit by a random asteroid that you can't see yeah, yeah. and die yeah, actually, you know, like, let's 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 explore that possibility so yeah okay elon musk we managed to create a colony on mars it survives. It's it good. It's kind of prosperous. The sun still grows and kills the sun us all. <laughs> yeah. uh, life on Earth still still suffers. We will not be anywhere near as comfy as we are right now. This is literally the golden age of humanity. Probably I mean, the, the whole thing about like moving on to Mars. The only benefit of that would it would buy us like a few you know maybe ten thousands of years like or something yeah, because well, like probably not even that but well yeah. no because the sun does is gonna gr it grows well, extremely it, slowly like because remember it's gonna I gotta remind, it's gonna uh, get big uh, before it explodes so yeah yeah but I, i'm i'm in terms of the the uh sun exploding it and, and yeah it will engulf the earth well before that but it's yeah. still like it's it's like oh, what it's gonna take millions like 10 of million years. years yeah 10 so like like 10 million years but, but yeah and so that's what i'm saying like know, it, being on mars would give us yeah. like an extra f couple tens of thousands of years because of how slow it is yeah like uh, it'd be but like a I matter think... of like the earth would just be cooking while we would be on mars and then we'd have yeah, to figure out yeah. where to jump to next in that timeline <laughs> but, like, this, this is the issue with that like let yeah, on on Mars, obviously life is going to be so much harder, so much harder because yeah. you'll have to manage your oxygen. Even if you manage to uh, redo the planet, it's going to be freezing cold, so you have to manage that. If you let your population get too big, you will not have enough food to feed them, so you have to keep the population down and at level <laughs> response, which either means you have to teach responsible breeding, <laughs> or you <laughs> or you have to figure out another way of doing it. You might even have to, unfortunately, go into the idea of eugenics and, you know, selectively breed ourselves, which is probably the only way that we'd actually survive in this situation. Uh, you'd then also, you know, you'd have this, this, actually, what was it? Warhammer 40k, uh, that their depiction of humanity, probably the most accurate idea of what life would have to be like uh, with, you know, with uh Space with a sustainable human population because naturally as you know naturally people have things die and things have to keep on dying and it has to keep on dying at the same rate as the birth in order to keep the environment safe because uh, otherwise you have uh what's it i think it's the b strategy which are uh things like right rats and mice they just breed they carry on breeding and they breed over what the environment can hold and then because they've done that, they get hit by famine, they get hit by disease and stuff, and then their population plummets. And it plummets well below that threshold of what the environment can hold, and then they start growing again. It's a legitimate strategy, but it's one that for us, and the way that, because we're really a sea strategist, because we, we adapt the environment so it has a higher, um, higher sustainability. Um, but there is that point especially nowadays there where that environment cannot uh cannot be adapted to contain any more human life and we're, we're hitting that we've been hitting that for a long time 
and we keep on growing it, but the birth rate is still rocketing well out of control. So in order <laughs> Maybe for this is why they're pushing for fucking World War Three right now. They're <laughs> yeah, just it, trying it to... Probably is. <laughs> honestly, honestly, it probably is. Like, honestly, we need... We need uh, absolutely at this a point, whole, fucking Russia's just like, oh, we got enough people to spare at this point, <laughs> fuck it. Just, <laughs> just... No, I think, I think actually Putin has just looked at his watch and thought, uh, these these bastards in the West... They're, they're you know, it's been, a, it's been about a hundred years I'm almost. i to do this now, yeah. <laughs> Even even uh, what's his name Winnie the Pooh in China is probably thinking the same sort of thing, you know. Yeah. Oh, like, there's there's no choice. I have to be the arsehole now. He's probably not an arsehole. He's probably a really kind, clever guy. Who knows? But he has to be. You know, we have to have that villain in order to bring our population down to sustainable <laughs> levels. And it's uh, you know, it's just you know I'm it's about that about time. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's about, it is, you know, it's it's about it's, time for a war. It's been eighty years. You know, I think uh, we we've been missing a little action. <laughs> <laughs> it's the depressing so form of, of, of this sort of civilization. Like, there's the, the only ways to actually have a sustainable human civilization is to have death. And there's, you know, several ways you could do it. Now you have to have a war. But, you know, when you've got that balance, you either have to have the selectively breeding and selectively killing the people. So you uh, manipulate <laughs> your genes for what you want for this environment, for the things you want to, to build, to make sure you've got these sort of ideas a bit like a like a an insect colony sort of style of doing it or of course you then got the just uh skimming off whoever the fuck you know just a, a random number generator and somebody when your numbers get too high those those numbers go th go through the sort of uh what was it hunger games uh, example that sort of thing um that's but that is literally the only way that you, that you can do it Basically, the world's doomed. Let's just go with that. Basically, yeah. yeah. yeah to, put, is, is to sum everything up, we're fucked yeah. as a species. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, about the <laughs> <laughs> next topic. <laughs> I, I can't believe we actually went. I, I, I never expected to say this. This is one of the things which I, I've been planning to keep quiet on forever because I thought this is the most depressing thing and somebody's got to do something. But if I'm the one that's, that's allowed, that's given the information to somebody who then goes and then does it and then it brings back to me then i feel like shit because i've basically just started the whole extinction <laughs> you know, started, like, you know? <laughs> so i've always thought you know i'm never gonna say this but yeah you know, fuck it I i've said it we're all dead dig i mean it's yeah. really all we can uh, to put it simply though there's a lot of fucking details a lot of shit going on but we're not mm. the ones in charge and we're not no. the ones that are gonna have like a huge difference at the moment i mean it's yeah. like I'm, like, like right now it's <laughs> Like, well, grandkids, it's your problem now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And yeah. good luck. I mean, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I do like Parliament sometimes can be quite interesting, oh, quite funny. The UK's to watch. is a lot more rowdier than ours, that's for sure. Yeah. I'll say but, that. Oh, sometimes it, I, I know we're talking about politics a lot today, which is unusual. I normally avoid it because I just don't stop yeah. talking when it comes to it. But yeah, no, one thing that I've, I've always noticed, I've always been pissed off about that, is the fact that I've. Uh, you know, even when I was a kid, when I was first starting to, to learn to, uh, when I first had the ability to vote and I was starting to pay attention to it, I noticed that a lot of the time they're sat in this, this courtroom and all of a sudden they're just sort of making noise over somebody's speaking and they're just bashing each other and, and talking <laughs> about how, oh, but you had, you had uh, sex with your wife last Tuesday and that's a disgrace <laughs> kind of bullshit, you know? And there's all these, always these backbenchers that go, Way! making loads of fucking noise. It's, it's like, it's literally, it's like, like, it's like, just like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's you were it's thinking terrible. about the pink elephant yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it genuinely is like that. It's like, oh, you did something terrible when you were like 12 or some shit like that that they just bring out of nowhere. So your words are untrustworthy. And they don't listen. And, you can tell that not all single person is listening to the words that are actually being said, the important bits, the actual content. And it's, it's, it's this idea in British politics that as long as you bash them enough and as, as long as you bring up enough of their, their dirty past, uh, you can you know, completely get rid of their good policy, their bad policy or stuff, just by doing that. And it's, 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 it's just so confusing and it's so horrible that sometimes you listen to these politicians, sometimes having great ideas about education stuff, and you just see their face, especially when they're, they're quite intelligent stuff, just drop as soon as some random dickhead in the, in the back benches starts shouting something over them. And the speaker's rubbish, she didn't do it, like, we've got a speaker. Um, 
Sorry, I need to explain this a little bit. So we've got our benches, we've got the people that are actually debating, and then we've got a speaker who basically keeps control of it, uh, who basically tells people to shut up. And quite often, you, the speaker just sits there and watches and smiles and laughs along with the jokes and the banter and stuff like that. And I'm just thinking, half the time he needs to sh tell them to shut the fuck up and listen. Pull out the popcorn, saying. sit back. Get yeah, out. get his ass, get <laughs> him, roast his ass. Actually, it's a bit like Blimey, nice. babe. <laughs> it really is. It's really weird. It, genuinely, it's the weirdest experience. When I first watched it, it I think it was a really good debate on about, I don't know, it was education or something. And there weren't as many people in the, 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 the room, in the parliament, as they probably should be. Uh, and the speaker was just sat back watching as they're just fucking sh throwing shit at each other and, and talking about how, oh, you're a bullshit, you're stupid, and stuff like that. And you just think, you if this is the way our parliament, our politicians <laughs> act, like in a serious debate, in a serious like situation with the speaker, Sat down, eating his popcorn, sipping from a sippy, <laughs> you know, just watching and enjoying himself whilst he does that. Uh, it, it's been, I, 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 I've seen, yeah, yeah, I've seen some of the fucking debates and like uh, over there. And it, it, what I <laughs> thought was the funniest comparison <laughs> is it's basically the equivalent of an Xbox lobby. <laughs> 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 Where everyone's just yelling over each other, <laughs> roasting each other. Oh, I love it. Know, <laughs> it's fucking great. It's so stupid. We're oh. fucked, man. That's all yeah, we really need yeah. to know. It's just we look at every fucking corner of the world and we see the same trend. We're fucked no matter what we do. Like <laughs> I think it, it, the, the moral of the story is humanity's doomed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there really is to it. All right. Anyway, we're getting into more topics. Yes. Go yeah, get we, out. We, get, gotta, get the fuck out. Right. <laughs> 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 all right. I'll see. You. Bye, bye, Thanks, Thanks for stopping great. by. All right, yeah. I guess see you later. It, yeah. Been good times. See you guys. We're gonna switch I'm, I'm, over, and we'll be back in like a couple minutes here. <laughs> And hopefully next time we'll have a guest. Maybe. Yes, we maybe remember. we'll see. It's open maybe. invites. We just throw things at random people. And hope we're very, say, oh, we're sure. very the most unprofessional professionals. It's the name. Of the <laughs> there you go. <laughs>